I caught my mom cheating and she's trying to convince me my dad knows. Plus update. Original post. I'm female 17, and until a couple of days ago, I thought I lived in the perfect family raised by my two loving parents in their early 40s. My dad is an engineer who has been traveling a lot for the past year, and my mom is in healthcare taking shifts in different times of the day. My laptop broke down, and I asked to use mom's laptop to finish a school project. When I was working, I saw a couple of WhatsApp web notifications pop up with raunchy messages. I tried not to pay attention until I realized these were from Pete and not from dad. I could not believe my eyes and I felt like throwing the laptop in the trash and pretend I never saw it. After I collected my thoughts, I went back to the chat and from what I can see, they met at least four to five times, starting just a couple of months after my dad began traveling. I took photos of the chat history and went to my room trying to process. I couldn't even finish my homework. From the messages, they were supposed to meet tonight, and lo and behold, just half an hour before the meeting time, she passed by my room to let me know she's going to work. The next day, I gathered my courage to confront her. I think she knew that I discovered her, because the new chat messages have been read by me, and I think I left the chat tap open before returning her laptop. I told her I knew what she was doing and that it was wrong. She sat me down and tried to calm me, but I told her there's no way I would be calm and she said I will understand once I hear the explanation. She told me that she and dad agreed to open their marriage shortly after he began traveling. To be honest, I didn't fully comprehend, so she explained what that entailed. She told me it was completely physical, and she would never have feelings for anyone other than my dad. The messages I read support this as they were only about bedroom fun, and that they agreed to only do it if one of them is away. She closed by saying that this is adult stuff agreed between two loving adult spouses, and I should stay out of it. I was dumbfounded and didn't know how to react the whole time. So I started reading online about open marriage, and this is how I found this subreddit. It was consistent with what she said, but it just didn't make sense to me. I don't believe my dad would agree to this, as his views are generally more conservative. Also when he's away, he's more present with us than her as he video chats with us or plays online games with my two brothers almost daily. In yesterday's call, I asked him why he has to travel a lot, and he said this is hard, but it is necessary to secure college money for me and my brothers. He assured me that it will change soon. I asked him how can he bear being away from his wife for almost half of the year, and he said since their relationship foundation is strong, temporary separation only causes them to miss each other more and value the limited time they have with each other. He asked me if everything is alright and I told him not to worry. I honestly don't know if I should believe her. Should I ask her for proof for the open marriage claim? I am mortified to tell dad, but is that my only option to confirm? I don't want our perfect family to be torn apart, but would it be fair to dad to keep this secret? I've been crying non-stop since this revelation, and don't know what to do. Now for the top advice before reading the update. Tell your dad. If he already knows, then he won't care. Or better yet, tell her you need to hear it from your dad. Her reaction will tell you everything. Put a deadline on it, and if you haven't heard it from him then tell him yourself. Even beyond this, if her dad knew about it, then it would make sense for the mom and dad to speak with her about it together, or for the dad to bring up the topic after being notified by the mom that the daughter knew. I have a few friends who do this, and the primary thing is transparency for all involved, and the daughter is involved now. This shouldn't have been a mom-only conversation, and that's precisely why it feels like a secret. Tell the dad and he'll explain his side of it if he's agreed to it. From his explanation of why he's off traveling, it sounds like he's fairly communicative with his children when it comes to hard questions. Tell your dad. It might be embarrassing for him, but if it is an open marriage, they mess this up by not being discreet enough. If it's not, he needs to know. And, if it is, there's a good chance that your dad already knows that your mom messed up by being indiscreet. If he doesn't know that, they're not communicating the way they should be in an open marriage. A kid finding out this way should be a DEFCON 1 incident, and your dad should already have been told by your mom. Exactly. If what mom is saying is true, then your dad should already know what you discovered, and ideally would have approached you to alleviate your worries. Instead, he inquires with you if everything is okay because you're more inquisitive than normal. You're in a tough position OP, but tell your dad and then let the adults figure it out. This is not your burden to bear. And now for the update. I thought this would be a good time to update you about how the situation progressed, but it'll be a long post. Reading through your responses, there were a lot of people recommending to tell my dad and others to keep to myself out or talk it out with mom. It took me a lot of time to think and decide that I want to somehow bring it up with my dad, but that I wanted to wait to do it in person. His next home visit was in five days after the original incident. 
And while waiting for that, I was really uncomfortable with my mom and was thinking twice about any move she makes. She tried to play it cool, open conversations or suggest going out, but I just tried to avoid her. Even if my dad did know, I was subconsciously treating her in a cold manner. This might have contributed to what would happen next. On the night before my father's arrival, it seems mom broke down. She came into my room when I was about to sleep and asked if we can talk. She started to talk about generic things and how hard it was for her to be almost a single mom for the past year with two teenage boys and thanked me for helping out with that. Now I started to see her tear up while bringing up that she might not have been completely honest about the open relationship thing. Long story short, according to her, she suggested to dad a while ago to open the marriage, but he didn't give her a definite answer. Rather, that he will think about it and get back to her. She said that she asked to revisit but he keeps changing the subject. So, no agreement from my dad that was clearly established. Now at least I know what to expect when I approach my dad. By this time, she's completely sobbing and trying to guilt trip me about the consequences of disclosing the whole information to him. I felt sorry for her and told her the right thing to do was to come clean with him, but she said she doesn't have the courage to do it. I said that I will do it if she doesn't. She said she'll think about it and we both went to bed, not that I could get any sleep that night after this. My dad arrived the next afternoon. Earlier that morning my mom sent in the family chat that she had to take an emergency shift, won't be back until the evening, and apologized profoundly. In the private chat, I asked her what the hell she's doing, and she said she's not ready to tell him and needs more time to find the courage. I told her that I don't think I can hold it and act normal around him, so he most likely will find out from me if she doesn't do it tonight. She sent several crying emojis, then gave me the go-ahead to talk to him and told me to update her if it is safe for her to come back home after I talk to dad. I don't know what she meant, as my dad was never the violent type. Over dinner, my dad was visibly displeased as mom never takes shifts during his arrival. When we were alone, after having a lot of small talks, he was telling me that one of his co-workers is getting married next week, so he'll try to stay around to attend that. I used this as transition and told him that I came across the term open marriage. I told him that after hearing and reading about it, I asked mom what she thinks of it, and mom told me it would be ideal for her situation, then asked him what he thought about it. He was taken by surprise. He said he doesn't believe in polygamy, another term I just learned, and that if a couple feel the need for it, they should address the issue that makes them feel that way, and if this issue cannot be resolved, then polygamy would not be the answer. I asked if mom asked him for an open marriage. He said yes, but that he refused on the spot. After that, he promised her that he'll ask to take a local position, kind of a demotion for him, as he didn't know this is how she felt, especially since he didn't take this job in the first place until she was okay with him traveling. He was actually just approved to move back to our city and will start the new job after the new year. He was planning to surprise my mom with the news. I asked him when was the first time they talked about this open marriage proposal, and he assured that it was only one talk that happened around five months ago. This is definitely after the time my mom first met Pete. He started to pressure me about what's going on but I was able to get out of the conversation as I needed some alone time to make up the two sides of the story. By looking at the messages dates, apparently my mom started seeing this guy, not sure if they hooked up initially or not, then asked to open the marriage to give her legitimacy to sleep with him. When my dad refused, she did it anyway. I was boiling and couldn't think straight. I messaged her to please come home and that everything is fine. Then I messaged dad screenshots of her conversation with Pete then I came here to write this update. I really don't care about what happens next and won't write another update. Whether they separate or not isn't important to me anymore as I know life won't get back to what it was anyway. The important thing is that I made peace with me carrying this burden. It makes my blood boil when a cheating parent warns the kid about the consequences of them telling the other parent the truth. The child is not the one responsible for those consequences. They are the ones who broke the marriage. The child only told the truth. My dad told me he'd been cheating on my mom for 10 years before they separated, but not to tell her because she didn't know. I was 13 at the time. To this day I have an issue with trust. It lasts forever. Here's the thing, sometimes there is consequences for the kid too. My dad caught his mom cheating, and when he told my grandpa, he exploded on him, and everyone blamed him for ruining the family. Did he actually ruin the family? Of course not. He was just a young teen, trying to do his best in a crappy family. The family was already ruined, but try telling that to a guy who was treated horribly for years because he was just trying to do the right thing. I have my own traumas from my parents' infidelities, but at least no one beat the crap out of me for it. Yeah, I was the one who blurted out my mom's infidelity. Suddenly I was the evil person breaking the marriage up. That poor kid. I'm a mother and I can't imagine gaslighting my daughter the same way. 
so unforgivable in terms of selfishness and self-interest. And using your kid to break it to your husband that you're cheating. I mean, I know I'm a coward and horrible at conflict, but Jesus, that takes avoidance to a whole other dimension. Doesn't it? When my marriage broke down, we never brought my daughter into it, we put her first, like you're supposed to do. That mother doesn't deserve the title. What a cowardly, horrible person. Parents, if you want to cheat on your spouse, that's one thing. If you try to involve your kids, that makes you a crappy parent. This poor kid is in knots because his mother is a coward. Honestly, even if the kids don't know about the affair, I consider cheating being a bad parent. Children aren't just collateral damage when a parent cheats, they are direct victims. A cheating parent betrays the family, not just their spouse, they are putting their children's home life at risk and are taking some of their time and attention away from the children to give it to the affair partner. Plus keeping an affair from the children probably involves lying to the children depending on their age, like where the cheating parent is when they are actually seeing their affair partner. In cases like this post where the child is directly dragged into it, it's more obvious and directly bad parenting, but either way. Last story. My husband 41 male said he is in love with my sister, I'm 36 female, plus mini update. For reference we have been together for 15 years, married for 8. A couple days ago we had a family gathering, it was nothing out of the usual. We like to hang out on Sundays once a month to catch up with each other and to let the kids hang out, all good things. The last few gatherings I've noticed that my husband has been eyeing my sister 23 female and not paying as much attention to me. I tried to ignore it and respect their friendship. This time they were all over each other, hand-holding, cuddling, stuff like that. And I was too in shock to say anything in the moment. When we got home and tucked the kids in for bed, I told him we needed to talk. He immediately broke down crying saying that he was in love with my sister and to please forgive him. He said he has been in love with her for two years. I couldn't do anything but leave the house to go on a drive because I didn't want him to see me crying from how much he hurt me. My husband was calling and texting me non-stop until I came home at around 1 in the morning. I told him I needed space and since then he's been sleeping on the couch. We have only talked when it involves our kids. I don't know what to do. We have two kids together and a very settled life. We are friends with all of the same people and share finances. I know I need to get a divorce lawyer, but where else do I go from here? Now for the top advice. So did he meet your sister when you two first got together? When he was 26 and she was 8. This whole situation is wrong for a million reasons. That was the first thing I took note to. He's known her since she was a little kid and he's been in love with her since she was 21. What the heck dude? And I use quotations because no he's not, he wants to bang her, that's what's up. Now that I think about it, OP started dating him when she was 21, wonder if the sisters look alike. Still, you can't come back from this. How do you come back from this? You. Yup. The grooming was the first thing that jumped out at me because of the ages. What a piece of trash this guy is. You can't go back from here. He's disgusting. He's known your sister since she was 8 years old. I would see a lawyer and start planning a future separate from him. He's holding her hand, cuddling. Have they slept together? Okay, the fact that he is in love with someone alone would tell me the marriage is over. But it's your sister. Divorce is the only option here. But can we talk about the deeper issue? Your sister is half his age, he's known her since she was eight, and he's been in love with her for years. You mentioned that they're very cuddly and whatnot. I legitimately think grooming was involved, and you need to talk to both your sister and your parents. I don't know if she's actively having an affair, but if not, she needs to know what is happening here. Contact a divorce lawyer immediately. In a situation like this you need to be one step ahead of him. There is no saving this marriage, and why would you even want to? And don't let him give some twisted version of the truth if you have mutual friends, you need to make sure they know what is happening. If they take his side knowing everything we know, they are not the sort of people you want in your life. I am so truly very sorry you're going through this, but please be sure to contact the lawyer first thing. And whatever you do, don't let this monster manipulate you into thinking there's anything normal about what is happening here, or that he deserves another chance for the sake of the kids. Edit. Sorry for the lack of replies, but I have been reading them and they have been so helpful. I have temporarily gone to my mother's house with my kids, and while I've been here, I have been looking at divorce lawyers in my area and a therapist for myself and the kids. I can't stand looking at my husband right now, and I still need some time to process this. I'm going to try and get some answers out of him and my sister in a couple days after I've had time to collect my thoughts. I can't believe the best years of my life were stolen like this.